Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to another portrait uh, painting video. Um, today I kind of want to focus a bit on talking about workflow um, because that's something I'm beginning to sort of focus on uh, at this point and where I'm going and um, about simplification of form because I mean you can see here I'm sort of starting out um, just trying to lay down the basic shapes, um, trying to make myself understand that uh, one half of the face is facing the shadow side, so it's darker, and the other half is facing the light, so it receives more light, as you can see. And the parts of the face that is uh, facing the light directly, like uh, the outer line of the jaw and around the nose, is, yeah, it receives more light, so it's a bit lighter than everything else. I'm also trying to, like, I'm trying to lay the foundation in this very textured kind of brush. Um, I recently made my own brushes, which was absolutely a pain <laughs> in the arse. <laughs> absolutely horrible because uh, I spent two hours trying to make <laughs> trying to make these brushes, and I finally made some that I liked, but then my program crashed, and I had to start all over and I felt very cursed. Uh, I think that happened twice or thrice. It was... oh god. But anyways, um, back on track. I finished the brushes and I'm using this very textured brush I, uh, that I made to sort of lay the foundation because um, I was sort of experimenting. Um, I thought that if I lay the foundation in a very textured brush then in the end, when I sort of come back to clean it up, then some of that texture will still sh like show. It will still come through and give this, give it a more painterly, painteresque, <laughs> painteresque, painterly wipe. Um, so that's sort of the purpose of it. But I think I'm gonna try to experiment a bit more with like cleaner looks because it's sort of what I was attempting. So. Um, I think I need smaller. I mean, <laughs> it's so stupid because I <laughs> I made these very tiny, very sh pointy, sharp brushes too for this exact occasion when I needed some like when I wanted to try and make something that looks very clean, um, you know, <laughs> on fleek or whatever the kids say these days. I I made brushes for that specific purpose, but my problem is always I get so absorbed in the painting I'm doing that I just completely forget that I have them. The only thing I notice is what's in my immediate vicinity and that's like I think like five brushes. I, I used like two brushes, maybe three for this one so maybe I need to like like that, that's where I think the workflow thing comes in because I kind of want to establish a good workflow for myself. Um, and uh, you know, blogging comes first. Uh, establishing uh, <laughs> establishing geometry comes first. Then you need to respect the or organic form. You know, anatomy and function. Um, you know, science like the eyeball is round because it needs to rotate and stuff like that. Um, and after that, you begin slowly moving into the smaller forms. Um, like you start with the big blocky shapes I showed you earlier and then I sort of move into the smaller finer shapes of the face and then in the end I kind of want to establish a face for myself um, like the final detailing face um, which is like um, you know a little bit of eyelashing focusing on the nostrils um, when I return to that you'll see that at the end of the video um, but um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, having a structured workflow is something that I really want to establish because it's sort of pre having like a step by step, this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, sort of, it, it like, it pre it's gonna prevent me from, <laughs> from doodling too much and focusing on things that don't matter, like tiny things that no one's gonna notice anyway. Like, it's gonna prevent me from focusing on the things that's not important and that's not gonna teach me anything. Um, and, and like, I, I just, I think one of my issues is I end up focusing too much. Um, 
on making my painting look like the reference, which is obviously not a bad thing, but it's like if I focus too much on, on, on like, oh, does it look like the reference, then there's a lot of like, there's a lot of knowledge and information that gets lost. It's like I lose a lot of simplification that's gonna help me to, um, you know, make work later. Um, like the simplification of the form of the cheekbone, for example, if I focus too much on the photo and instead of focusing on simplification of the photo, um, then, then then I can't take any of the knowledge from this study with me onward. So, you know, <laughs> establish a workflow, kids. That's really important. Uh, go home and study. Uh, remember the geometry. I'm constantly trying to remind myself, but I try to tell myself that it's like it's a learning process. I have a learning curve. Um, I've definitely gotten very far in the past three years that I've tried to, you know, grow very seriously. Um, but you know, <laughs> we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting to where we're going, um, one day at a time. You know, um, and it's actually really helpful to kind of make a sort of journaling to yourself because I can see, like, I can look back at it and see the mistakes I made. Um, I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm bashing myself a bit in the head for what I just mentioned. Uh, it's, it's like I can tell I'm doodling a bit. Um, but I'm just... I think uh, I, I also really wanted to focus on color with this piece. Uh, just like uh, get a natural skin color gradient and... Um, you know, uh, kind of like where's, where's the blood, where do I focus the blood, the reds, where the hues, like where the grays and the yellows and the blues fit into the skin. Uh, because yeah, like in case you didn't know, there's green and blue in skin uh, in certain lighting conditions. And if you forget to bring in like the grays and the yellows and the greens and the blues, if you, if you forget that, your picture can easily start looking kind of stale. Like it's not alive, um, and I'm also trying to remind myself a bit um, because if you want a clean look, you're gonna know how to focus on what's important, and what's really important is uh, the eyes and the nose and the lips. So I kind of wanted to go in and see how far I really could push this and remind myself how do I detail lips? <laughs> how do I put details on eyes? How do, you, how do I make how do I make nostrils? <laughs> um, but that's sort of what I wanted to uh, sort of remind myself about. Like I try to keep regular practice um, just so that you know uh, then I make um, then I try to make a a portrait from reference and one from imagination and then I sort of like switch back and forth a bit um, just to see where I'm weak and where I need to work a bit more um, and uh, like it's 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 a bit of rough work um, because it's really dry work honestly to just switch back and forth but it's uh, it helped me a lot I know that's there was a weekend where I, I'm not joking, I think I, for like three days, I just said, okay, one hour I draw a portrait, <laughs> one hour I draw a portrait from imagination, one hour I draw from reference, and then I constantly switched back like that for an entire weekend, and I was so, I was so done by the end of it, I was so tired, and I'm, my brain was mashed potato, it was so grilled, it was toasted toasted brain cells up in my head like in my face i think my eyes i looked like someone who had just had the baddest trip like my eyes were dead i'm pretty sure um it's like it was really tough but it ended up giving me a lot i think that that weekend ended pushing me really far because i ended up noticing so many of my own mistakes and because i was like i was working on every um, 
I was working on every piece for such a short time that I didn't have the time to sort of go blind in it and doodling for like several hours. It was just like, yes, let's get down the important parts and uh, then see what we did wrong. Like, then we go do some other pieces, then we return to this one and see what we did wrong and then, you know, I switch back and forth. Um, so yeah, I can definitely... Uh, I mean, if you have the time, uh, doing stuff like that, getting into the rough work of art is definitely helpful if you're looking to improve. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm not even close to being one of the masters yet. I, I really, I very strongly consider myself just a student, but, it'll, you know, as a student, I, I've learned some things and I'm still learning, but I you know I'm giving advice to, to other students of art that are maybe not so experienced yet because that's still valuable to like uh, to like um, share information and stuff and communicate that way so uh, yeah but as you can see I'm slowly uh, getting done with the eyes um, I'm sort of like like at this point I'm just doing the final detailing stuff um, all of the candy flowers all the fun stuff um, I mean for some for some reason I always have to drag myself through the detailing part uh, for some reason that's I mean it, it's fun it like it puts the cherries on top but for some reason I'm always like oh now I gotta do all these tiny things um, but it did end up kind of pushing my picture very far um, and that's what I wanted to do like um, back to establishing the workflow thing I wanted to see how far I could push it and I wanted to like establish that final stage for myself with the fine detailing um, I've still got a lot to learn uh, I don't got I don't got quite the quite the result I wanted but I think for the next one I'm just gonna try to use a cleaner brush maybe um, instead of one that's very textured uh, to help me get a cleaner look um, just sort of experiment with you know different feels and stuff like that in the picture and uh, definitely try to use the the damn brushes <laughs> that I made for this exact purpose uh, <laughs> I really yeah oh god Anyways, I think that's sort of it for me this time. I hope you enjoyed and I will uh, see you next time. Make sure to subscribe, but only if you want to. Um, if you're interested, you can find my social media in the description. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.